Hey, what's up, Coffee Explorer? Today, I'm going to show you three different ways to make Vietnamese egg coffee. And as a bonus, I'm going to teach you how to make Vietnamese coffee. So let's get at it. Coffee Explorer. So the first uh, cup of coffee that we're going to make today, which I've already brewed up the actual coffee itself, but it's going to be a Vietnamese coffee. It's a really, really simple uh, drink to make. It's actually, well, of course, one of the national beverages over in Vietnam, but here it is. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab a, a cup, a coffee cup, a mug, something, and then you want to get some sweetened condensed milk and get a nice heaping teaspoon of it go ahead and put that in there and then pour the coffee and it's served with it's served with the spoon in there like that and then when you drink it you just stir it up And it's that simple. The second style of uh, coffee I'm going to make is the traditional Vietnamese egg coffee. This is a, a drink that if you end up going to the northern part of the of Vietnam, you're going to want to try this. There's, it's one of the most amazing things I've ever tasted in my life. Alright, so the first in ingredient that we're going to need to make this Vietnamese egg coffee, of course, is an egg but not the entire egg just the yolk so what you want to do we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get two egg yolks here so you gotta split the yolk separate the egg this egg doesn't want to cooperate very well <laughs> But you want to try to get as much of the egg white out of there as possible. Alright, so now we've got two egg yolks in there, and I find that these these sugar packets uh, from, I guess I found these ones are from Wholesome uh, Naturally Delicious Sugars. Uh, they each hold about a teaspoon of sugar. So then we'll just go ahead and, and pour that in with the egg yolks. And then you want to get a whisk or a or a blender or something like that. And you want to you want to beat it until it becomes the consistency of a pancake batter. Alright, so now we have the egg mixture set up here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to again take another one of these cups, grab a nice big thing of the, of the sweetened condensed milk. And then we'll 
pour the egg mixture right in. Add some coffee. And then dust it with some cocoa. And there we have the traditional Vietnamese egg coffee. So the third type of coffee that I'm gonna make is the Vietnamese iced egg coffee. It's like a milkshake almost. It's absolutely fantastic. You're gonna love it. Okay, so now we have our cup of ice here. And just like the last one, we're gonna have to take a, a, an egg and separate the yolk. Oh, this one's separated much easier. That in there. Add the sugar. And we'll beat the bejesus out of it. So again, we're going to take the, the sweetened condensed milk and we're going to add it to the, to the ice. And then we will add the egg mixture. But this time, instead of using the freshly brewed hot coffee, we're going to use some cold brew that I brewed using the Soma uh, brew bottle. Uh, I'll leave a link for, to buy it in the description if you're interested. It's a pretty cool uh, little contraption. I'm glad they came up with it. And then you just fill your cup. And there we have the Vietnamese iced egg coffee. Finally, the last one we're going to make is a fairly rare one to find even over in Vietnam, but I found it a few times. Uh, and it is the Vietnamese egg white coffee. It's a little bit different than everything else, so let's check it out. Yeah, we already have our egg whites, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a few of these add it to the egg white get one more of these. And we're going to go ahead and blend this until it turns into a meringue. Woo. That almost got really messy.
All right, so let's take our cup. Again, we will add the sweetened condensed milk. Pour the coffee in. And then sprinkle some cocoa. Well, there you have it, Coffee Explorers. Uh, four amazing Vietnamese coffee beverages that you should definitely try. Uh, so I showed you how to do it, so you definitely get out and and make this happen in your life. You won't be you won't be a bit irritated that you did. Trust me, it's awesome. If this video sh showed any value to you whatsoever, again, please like on the video. Gotta give it a nice smash on that thumb button. Uh, subscribe to my channel so you can see a bunch of other stuff like this and product reviews. And and I, I like to go and talk to manufacturers for for uh, people that, that that make coffee products and things like that. And and I've also travel around and like to go to coffee farms and stuff like that and hopefully before too much longer I'll actually be p uploading a video for that. We'll see how that goes within the next couple of months or so. Uh, and we also just like to do traveling videos as well. So uh, subscribe, like, comment, share, help me out. Once we get to 75 subscribers I'm going to give away three signed copies of the first edition of my book. Uh, Tales of a Traveling Coffee Preneur, A Journey to Find the World's Best Coffee. Um, and then once we get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to give away four bags of Vietnamese Central Highland Arabica uh, roasted to the way the, the winner wants it. Uh, there's links and stuff down in the description. Uh, if you want to go buy that, that Soma Brew Bottle or... or Go check out uh, Sassy's Exquisite, which is my coffee company, where you can also get traveling coffee guy gear and coffee and tea and, and all kinds of good stuff like that. But thanks a lot for watching if you've made it this far. And as always, sip exquisitely. <laughs>